Hello and welcome to my Game Maker tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to make a main menu for your screen. So what are we going to need? We are going to need like it depends on how many options you want to make in the main menu sprite images. I have created a sprite named sprite menu buttons and I have added three options to it. Play, settings and quit. I'll be uploading these images to my website, so be sure to check it out and you can download it and use it in whatever project you want and uh, you don't even have to credit me. Uh, so now when you have those three images, let's create an object. We'll call it object button play. We're going to assign it uh, sprite menu button sprite and add an event to it which will be create in this create event we will put a code image speed equals to zero oh sorry it looks so blurry that way so image speed equals to zero and image index equals to zero as well because we want to select uh, the first sprite of our sprite menu buttons images okay and now let's add a step event to it what we want to do is we want to create a certain effect while our uh, our mouse uh, hovers uh, this object so we want to check whether our mouse is uh, inside this button so we can do it that way if point in rectangle uh, mouse x mouse y at x y x plus sprite width and y plus sprite height if this is oh i'll enlarge this so you'll be able to see the dark code in me as well if there's a point in rectangle then image scale equals to 1.10 and image y scale equals to 1.10 as well now let's go to a draw event and in draw event we'll draw our sprite and after that we'll test the object and see how it works so let's add a room and we'll change the color of the background to white so you'll be able to see the effect more clearly like that and let's put our play button to it or we have to select the instance layer as well like that let's hit play see what it does Okay, uh, we have it works, but we have to make uh, the effect. The we need to make the effect reverse. Whether this is not true, so else image x scale equals to one, and image y scale equals to one as well. Let's test that again. Yeah, it resizes, but but uh, it resizes to the right side. That's because we have the main origin selected in the top left. We can uh, change this with selecting uh, the origin to be in the middle center, and after that, we just change the code. To that so we uh, divide it by we divide it with height by two and 
as well check it on the left side so minus sprite width divided by 2 and y value divided by 2 as well we just hit minus here and that's it this should work fine now yep it works perfect we just have to change its position in the room since our origin has changed and what to do now we have to check whether uh, user is like holding the mouse inside so if point in rectangle equals we still have we are still checking this option but it's true so we can put our mouse check code inside of this if mouse check button and be left so if we are holding the left mouse key image alpha equals to 0.8 oh we will also assign the pressed value pressed equals to true if mouse check button pressed so this will check what whether we have entered and pressed the button so uh, this value will actually help us trigger the image alpha later uh, and be left set variable pressed to true and yeah that's pretty much it uh, except we have to add press variable to a create event and press equals to true image alpha equals to 0.8 if mouse check button released mouse button left so in this part we will actually add our action code so like we can add another room room one for example and we'll set image alpha back to one and let's go to room one mm. oh of course have to set press to false back again and then else if so let's make it just an outside code if pressed equals to false then ignore nor alpha and add it to one let's see how this works well the alpha doesn't change but why Oh, of course, we didn't even have to add this. Just, just part of code. Yeah, if we didn't press it, but if we do, we go to room one. So, if you want to add different menu buttons, just duplicate them like that and click your name object button settings and object button quit so for object button settings you go to a create event and select the index of one 
So our settings image in the sprite will be selected and you just change the code which is in the most released event like uh, go to a setting room that means like we can show a message like settings for example but in the quit we can do a bit different just select a second image in the sprite and after you release the mouse button left then end the game add a settings object to the room and then the quit button to the room don't worry the image indexes will change so we can we have our play button, we have our settings button as well, which works, and we have our quit button too. So thank you very much guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new, I hope and I hope as well I'll see you in the next tutorial, bye!